Welcome back, everyone, for a time like this podcast. I'm Natalie. And I'm Ashley. And, and we're, we're your host. host. On this episode, I guess we're going to really just talk about stress, what some things that kind of yeah. cause you, like not major stress issues, just like minor things that cause you mm-hmm. stress and kind of how you can deal with it. Yeah. Like the little things. Like how we deal with it or not yeah. deal with it. <laughs> or lack thereof. <laughs> um. Well, Ashley, I, I don't know. Do you want to go ahead and start this? Yeah, I'll go <laughs> ahead. So we were just, actually, we were starting to discuss this before we started the podcast. Mm-hmm. But we were just talking about, like, the little things that stress you. Yeah. And I was saying, like, my house just being completely messy. Yeah. Especially when you have, like, just toys. Younger kiddos that And your laundry's just, yeah. not caught up. And then you just cook dinner. Yeah. That, at that point, I feel like the whole house is just it's in just, a disarray. Yes. Which I have a smaller house. Yeah. So, like... I don't have, I have a little bit of a I feel laundry. like when it's a lot small, which I don't, I don't know. Some people can keep it up, I guess, but <laughs> others can't. I don't know or try, but it's just, you know, it is what it is. But like even with our, both our houses, we're, it's smaller. But like I feel like the smaller it is, the messier it seems like it'll be. I don't maybe. know. Like maybe. Because I, I don't have know. that much counter space. So yeah. like when you have three things on the counter, it looks already looks messy mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. haven't even really started. Yeah. Like if you got the eggs and milk and cheese out. Yeah. And you're like like, your whole oh, clothes oh, already covered. You. You're like, oh. So yeah. maybe. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. And then I don't have a toy room. And so the toys are just like, you know, I have them like in an area. So yeah. When the house is clean, they're put away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like not neat. It's not. What's the word I'm looking for? aesthetically pleasing yeah but it's organized yeah yeah but that's only for about three minutes because <laughs> <laughs> our kids will be like oh we don't yeah, see any toys is, yeah we need i'll put them out, out they here. start like i literally just got through vacuuming i have like their toy area in my dining room mm-hmm. i just got through vacuuming so the room was all done and my daughter comes walking in and just opens the toy box and just starts <laughs> throwing them over her shoulder my husband's like what are you doing and i'm yeah. like they don't like cleanness <laughs> they don't like tidiness <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing that stresses me out and somehow like i guess on saturdays mm-hmm. my husband's home everybody's it home. almost makes it worse yeah, a little, because not, I think not you're spending time that, with your husband. Yeah. Like, I think that's the thing. Like, during the week mm-hmm. and stuff, you're up doing it. Yeah. And then when your husband's home, you're spending time with him. Yeah. And the kids are just playing, and you're just not constantly, yeah. like, putting things away. Yeah. So, usually by Sunday morning, if I'm not organized, like, I get real stressed out before mm-hmm. I get to Sunday church. Yeah. And so, this past Saturday, I got my house all straightened up. And our clothes all laid out. Mm-hmm. And so by Sunday morning, <laughs> I was ready for church. What happened Sunday night, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night after church, the house looked like prior to <laughs> the tidiness. It's just, I don't know what happens. I don't know I, what happens. Honestly, it stress me out. Stress, I feel like for me, it's the same thing um, with toys all over the place. It stresses me out, which I guess really would stress anybody out well not really stress but it just kind of bothers you that it's just thrown out there in the middle of where are you walking or whatever but as far as like for sunday um usually in after church when we come home you know our house is a mess we live there we eat breakfast you know we don't really clean it up after um uh, after we try to get you know after or before church and then we, we all just get dressed, you know, get ready, and we leave, we come back, and then it's, like, I just want to start picking up and cleaning it up, because, and sometimes I do that, I'll, like, before I leave, and we usually eat at my mother-in-law's uh, in the morning, so, for me, it was kind of, it's kind of sometimes, like, all right, let me just pick up the table after yeah. breakfast, and then we'll go, or just let me do this real quick, and then we'll go, but, uh, for me, it's just, like, having that something to be picked up and n- nice before i come back home would be just yeah you know. <laughs> i do like walking into a like a neat, neat nice yeah, home like yeah. when you walk in you're like okay it's not too bad yeah maybe but yeah to um, on our breakfast maybe. like have your house all tidy <laughs> saturday night have an easy breakfast like no mm-hmm. paper plates paper cups yeah everything just, just throw it, throw in, it in the in trash the like that would done, be, just yeah. wipe it in the trash i might try that. <laughs> Maybe we can um, something like but that. But usually on Sundays for me, after, you know, coming home, after eating or whatever, um, get the girls, you know, just settled, either nap or just uh, them playing some certain kind of toy or whatever. Um, 
I usually have to pick up the house before we start getting ready again. Just because I feel a little bit more like organized. But like it gets me started back to getting ready for that Sunday night. I don't know why, but I do it. And my husband's like, you know where we're supposed to rest on Sundays. He's like, I don't think you should be doing that. I was like, I can't help it. I said, I have to kind of straighten everything back up and then straighten it back up that Sunday night. So like, you know, I want to wake up in the morning too. Like, yeah, I be... do like waking up to a clean home, but Sundays I usually don't do it as much. Like on Sundays we'll go eat and then by the time we get home, it depends on the kids. Sometimes like, we go outside and play mm -hmm. and I'm just yeah. like thinking, you know what? My family's home. Mm -hmm. That's the only day of the week where I just kind of like, I'll make myself a nice you coffee. Just leave and I'm it. like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you just leave yeah, it. Yeah, well, that night, I'm like, my goodness, this house is best here, whatever. But yeah. I tend to, like, in between services, not really stress too much yeah. about it. Which, Sunday, it was okay. But I don't know what happens between the time of 4.30 <laughs> and 10 o'clock yeah. that caused <laughs> <laughs> the chaos that ensued. Yeah, or well. ensued. But that's one thing that distressed me. And I try to, like... I guess prepping mm -hmm. helps me de-stress. Like yeah. if you like Saturday Prepare night. Prepare before. Get it all prepared. That might be a solution to anybody. <laughs> Stressing over the same thing. Prepare. Another stressor, I mm -hmm. guess it's probably for everybody, is financing. Yes. Yes. I cannot express how stressful that is. Even talking about financial situations or, or you know, with stuff, even with my husband, I'm like, I don't even want to talk about it right yeah, now. Like, I, I just want to push Everybody has it. like a little bit different view, so it does stress mm -hmm. you out, even when you're trying to discuss it with the, like your partner, because you've got to share money, yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. So it is very stressful. Yeah. Um, I have not found the the solution to that. I one. have not I'm either. I'm not yeah, sure I don't about know. the the technique on trying to trying to figure that one out, so you're not as stressed. Mm -hmm. But our pastor talked about before. So like the Dave Ramsey, where you, Dave Ramsey, where you get your like your envelopes and you have mm -hmm. your money in there for the week. But I don't know. I still struggle with that because I'm like, you gotta have. I feel like you have to have enough money for like um. If you could have be a month in advance and then mm -hmm. try it that way, that would be real. Yeah, like See, easier. I, me, me and Travis tried that. Okay, we we tried it when we first got married on trying to do the Dave Ramsey thing. But it was not working out for us. It was like we couldn't take out what he, what we needed to to pay for like everything because it just wasn't working out somehow. Was it like you didn't have enough for that week to pay that current yeah, bill? Yeah, yeah, like it was. That yeah, it was just kind of like yeah. It was I don't know. It was just not working out financially for us, and we just kind of quit, and we were just kind of going week by week you know whatever doing what we needed to do but like i don't i can't and i don't really all remember what dave ramsey does either it's been a while since we've done it i don't have the book and stuff but like i don't remember all like does he does he do like the pay everything in one month is that what what it was like pay all your bills in the month or in that week or something i'm not Sure. I don't, I, know, like, I don't remember. His thing is like to be debt free. He does yeah. the snowball method. So you like get all your, as much free money as you can to pay down one, your smallest bill. Mm -hmm. And then once you get that smallest bill paid down, pay the next whatever. One. Yeah. And whatever mm -hmm. you was using, like, okay, so let's say you have a $50 um, couch payment. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to think yeah, of something yeah, random. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which he would probably tell you to sell your couch. But, anyways. I'm just using the numbers. So, like, say you had that $50 couch payment. Once you get that couch paid off, you would still use $50 that you would be something. spending on that couch yeah. for another bill. So, like, oh, okay. instead of spending, okay. like, $100 yeah. on your car payment, you'd be now spending $150 on your car payment mm -hmm. and then throwing as much extra money at that as you yeah. can. So, it's, like, snowballing. Yeah. So, once you get your, say, your car paid off and then you're paying off... Um, let's say a truck and your mm -hmm. truck is $200 payment. These payments are quite small, but <laughs> yeah. instead of paying $200, you would be paying $150 cause you'd be paying your couch payment yeah, plus your car, your car payment. payment. Yeah. Now all three of those are going towards your truck payment. Truck. Okay. And then you throw, so that's like snowball and that okay. I know he does that. And then I think the envelope method, I, I can't think I could be telling this all wrong. If I am just scratch it, people <laughs> yeah. it's fine. It's like, you like know get all your monthly payment or like bill your what's due that month 
and you break it down into four weeks mm -hmm. and then each week like so you get paid weekly mm -hmm. that week you would put a little bit amount in each mm -hmm. envelope and then by the time that bill is due you should have enough money in your envelope just pull it out and pay that bill hmm. but i feel like it would take a, like a few months to get set up to that point and then as soon as you get all set up, I guarantee you something's going to happen <laughs> and you're going to need that money. So that's why I just feel yeah. like it, it can work. I'm sure it can work. And I'm sure yeah. thousands of people saying, yes, this is how you do it. Yeah. We did it. And it was fine. But I, well, that, I guess that's where his emergency fund comes from. Thousand dollar emergency yeah. fund. You pull yeah. it from there. Yeah, He's I still stressed them out. I, I think it stresses. I don't know. It just stresses me out. I feel like it, probably if we just sit down. But sometimes too, like I don't know if you have, which I, I might have a problem. But if I if I have cash with me, sometimes I would just I want to spend it. So like physically having that yes, money, I, I want to spend it. We can't do cash very well either. <laughs> it's just like if you have twenty, it's gone. Like I don't know. I guess I feel like. I feel like that'd be the like time. I guess somebody will walk up and ask you for money and you have like I literally we I had a hundred dollars mm -hmm. in my wallet the other day and I was like I'm gonna use this for whatever mm -hmm. and some lady walks up and asks for money and I felt yeah. I told her I didn't have any cash and then I felt guilty because I remembered as soon as I said I don't mm -hmm. have any cash was that I did have money and I gave it to her a whole hundred dollars and I yeah. was like I'm not carrying on cash <laughs> 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 I feel bad I yeah. do but like our church, I don't know, we have a lot of opportunities to give to different causes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like yeah. I'm giving to charity enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Like when a random per stranger comes up and asks you for money. Mm -hmm. And you don't really know See, what I they're going to use it for. I don't know what it's for. like because I've never been asked for have money. Not? No, never. Not since I've been here. Not anywhere. Yeah, this lady wa I've woman never even... walked up to me. It was crazy. Me and my husband both the same week yeah. gave strangers a hundred dollars really we both talked about it later and he was like hey this lady a hundred dollars and blah 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 and i was like well i did the same thing so <laughs> <laughs> there goes our grocery bills <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i yeah, honestly fine, i don't but. i i've not i've not encountered that i don't know what i'm doing wrong either but like <laughs> maybe i don't know anyway um yeah i've not been encountered like even with like living with my parents i don't think i've which I'm, I wasn't with them all the time, but like for the most part, when I was with them, they they didn't get approached for like money unless they were like out, out on the side of the road. You know yeah, how people stand out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. No, this they like she's literally come. Up. I've had it happen a few times. Um, there's another lady that's inside that'll come up to people a lot, mm -hmm. but yeah, hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, what bothered me after I did it, she asked for the money, I gave it to her, and I was like. You know, we really don't have a hundred dollars to spare, but what? it's fine. You know, like it'll be okay. Because she told me she's like, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go right over there to Burger King, and like you can watch me. I'll go up there and get food. I'm really hungry. Blah blah blah. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, whatever. I gave her money, and like I was had two little kids in my cart. They're whining and screaming. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to unload my groceries, and then she comes up, picks the worst time to come ask. Yeah, me. that's probably what she probably timed that just yeah. right. She knows people are just like whatever to get you go away from them. Yeah. And then she goes getting the vehicles just as nice as mine, if not nicer. Really? And then I did not see her go to Burger King. I'm like, Shh. really? Yeah. Like, if you went to Walmart, I would have been like, okay, that's enough money. She's going to go buy groceries for Girl, the week. I would have been like, give me just a second. I'm going to go break this under <laughs> and give you 20 bucks. But, I don't know. Sometimes I hear a lot of stories of, like, how people con people. And you, know, like and that. you hear that so much. So then you yeah. kind of feel like, and then, like, in this area. Is a very, very large uh, drug problem. Yes. And so then yeah. you kind of feel like uh, it could be used for something other than mm -hmm. money. Or not money, but yeah. for food or whatever. And then you kind of, I don't know. Yeah, you just, yeah. Um, yeah. Anywho, that does stress me out. Money, trying yeah, to figure out. Yeah, just financial like, situations, I think, can just stress anyone out. Yeah, Unless I think, like, you're, like, really question. doing great. And you don't, you know, you're. Unless, yeah, or if your mm -hmm. husband's just in complete control mm -hmm. over that. And you don't even have to worry one yeah. bit. And he's like, here's yeah. your spending money. And you yeah. don't have to worry about it. Yeah, nothing. but I'd, I'd rather my husband tell me and then discuss it with me instead of just leaving it all up to him. I want to know where we're at. I want to know kind of. You know where what boat we're in together because we're in this together, right? Like I feel like when you say just leave it up to their husbands, do they like leave it, leave it to their husbands? Like I don't want to know. Just 
tell me if I can spend money or, or not, you know? Yeah, that's probably how it is. That's how I'd like to be. I'd like to be <laughs> in this place where I just tell my husband, like, you just give me spending money and yeah. you worry about all that. Like, you would trust your yeah. husband not yeah. to be doing anything crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you, like, ask to see if he's yeah. all, like, you can't see, then yeah. it'd be weird. Yeah. But I'd just be like, hey, you take control of her, paying yeah. everything, keeping everything up. I can't handle yeah. it. Yeah. I would like to be in that situation. We're not. We're both. Both of us are. <laughs> now, I, 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 I actually like together. to be the opposite. You're the opposite. Yeah. You want I, to I want to be like, all right, let, let me go pay this, 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 and, and this. And then I'm like, whoop, that's done. Give me the, the free cash now for me to go yeah. shopping. Well, I just feel like I wish I was in that spot where you could just be like, not have to worry about it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But right now we're both like. Yeah. Do this, you know, we're always discussing it. And like some t- some things, as far as financially, um, you can't have it like automatically taken out, or like you have to send a check or whatever. I'd rather just have it automatically taken out, so I know what what's coming up, like that next week or next month, what's coming out. Do you know? Yeah, I feel I have um, opposite, like not opposite, but mixed feelings. Like some yeah. things I have are automatically, like that we save money by being mm-hmm. automatically. And, like, when you're really struggling, though, and it automatically comes out and you don't have that money in there. You know, like, if you have, like, a bill due, like, your KU or whatever, Mm -hmm. you have, like, a three-day grace period or whatever. So, sometimes, Mm -hmm. like, you're like, oh, I got to pay this bill that's due on Thursday, but I'm going to get paid on Friday. But if it takes it out on Thursday, you know. Yeah, we've had that. Well, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, in general, like, the the automatic, I see where people don't want to do that either. Yeah, that's true. Anyways. Like the mindset, if you was all yeah great and it just constantly coming out, you yeah. didn't really think about it. That's good, but at the same time, if you if you're low on funds, that's it true. Automatically comes out, that's then you're true. in trouble. But anyways, that's definitely no stressor in everybody. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have the answer for the de stress I don't either. I feel like people just feel pray like about it. yeah, <laughs> definitely. That's the, that's what I was about to say, and uh, that was going to be my ending closing. <laughs> on all things, we pray, go to God and yeah. pray, and like yeah. that. Usually, the biggest help, but. Mm. I guess um, I've never prayed over my n- messy house. So maybe that's what I should start doing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go over there. Start, like, morning, oh! start off. Be like, Lord, I see this house is messy. Please don't let me be stressed at my family over this house. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I feel like that's, oh, that was me. I'm going to tell myself. I feel like that was me yesterday. I like was so, I don't know why, but I, like I knew you wasn't coming. So like. I was like, why am I being so stressful about the house being so messy and, and all this stuff? And, it, and it's not like it wasn't it wasn't terrible at all. Like, we we straightened everything. I straightened out everything, like, Sunday night before I went to bed. But I think just a few things that I didn't do kind of stressed me out. Like, there were some dishes on the sink and, like, different things. And I'm like, I really want to do these dishes. <laughs> but my husband really wants me to come to bed. And, uh, but yeah, so like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, oh, uh, I don't know. Stress. <laughs> no stress. So another thing, uh, that would stress me out would be, especially when my husband's uh, <laughs> right behind me telling me that we're late for something is being rushed. I don't know if anybody got ru- got rushed by their husbands, but that is my worst like stressor when he's down like telling me like behind me like we're gonna be like we're gonna be like we're gonna be like because you know blah 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 and I'm like you're stressing me out as it is I'm stressing out already because I already know sometimes that I am late like I'm already stressing out about it so like don't come to me and be like you're gonna be like that yes my well me and my husband I say I'm in relaxed mode. I just don't get in too much of a hurry. Mm-hmm. My husband likes to wait till last minute and then just go as fast as he can to get stuff done. <laughs> so, like, he's always like, you're so slow, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes. But yeah. I'm aware of my not moving very fast. So, I mm-hmm. start at, like, 7 Early. getting ready. And by yeah. 9 o'clock, I'm ready to go to the car. And you wait until 8.30 and you're rushing. And that mm-hmm. stresses everybody around you out because you get hot and sweaty because you're rushing. If you didn't wait till last yeah. minute to get yeah. ready. And then you're all like, we got to go, we got to go. And I'm like, no, we don't. We're ready. You're stressing everybody out for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, sometimes my husband lies to me. I mean, so, like, if it's something starts at 5, he'll tell me it's, like, 4.30. Or 445, something like around there. And I'm like, I, and I try. I really try to at least get that hour where I'm like, I got to get things done, blah, blah, blah. But it's oh, something, I feel like something always happens. Whether it's my kids spilling something, my kids getting into something they shouldn't be. Like, 
it's always something. I I don't know why, but it's always always something or like they would always sometimes it's like we're ready to go my kids got in the cereal and the cereal's all over the place uh, do you leave it do you feel like you have to clean it so, sometimes i'll leave it yeah, some, and like most of the times i have to clean it up like i'm like no can't do this i'm can't, like yeah, yeah. So i would just leave it <laughs> being rushed really stresses me out because i like sometimes i know i'm aware i'm already late so i'm like it's fine yeah you know to be in late stress you out not really, but it does stress my husband yeah, out. Yeah, so being late much. stresses me out more than the Russian, <laughs> I believe, because like if I cannot, we feel like we have to be somewhere like ten minutes early. Yeah, no, it's I, like uh, early is on time and on time is late. You remember that saying? No. So that's kind of how our fault. I always heard on. like if, early is on. Oh, you're like the fashionable. I'm, late. I'm like the one that everybody just shows up early if i'm late i'm like everybody just showed up early <laughs> it's fashionable to be late in her book and i'm all like no if you're not on, if you're on time you're late yeah yeah <laughs> so anyway travis is like that he he's actually he stresses out melody but too. i feel like with me and my husband i'm aware of that and i start getting ready earlier but mm -hmm. he waits till last minute and then he's getting frustrated and all this yeah. stuff and like y'all gotta hurry up and we're like or we'll be coming in there and he's like, y'all can't be coming to the bathroom while I'm trying to get ready. Because we don't have yeah. one bathroom. Yeah, we're like, yeah. okay, but we have to also be in here too because yeah. we have one bathroom. And if you didn't wait till last minute, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Listen, the one thing that does get me really grumpy and like really stressful is that it, it, it you know, I started early, especially during like Sundays. I started early getting the girl's hair, my hair, and getting us dressed, getting our shoes, getting my purse, whatever, getting it ready. But my husband will wait we'll start getting ready like 30 minutes after i started and he'll have his grand old time drinking his coffee you know doing whatever but i will be stressing the whole time trying to get us ready on time while he get and, and then he waits 30 minutes before he gets ready so he he had he has only 30 minutes to get ready just to say we have an hour he he's got that 30 minutes he'll wait it's kind of i guess kind of like your husband he'll wait till like that last 30 20 minutes and then like that's when he, he'll start rushing us and i'm like yeah. i was like it kind of stresses me out because i'm like it took me almost an hour and i'm still trying to get ready finish getting us ready and then it only took you 20 minutes to get yourself ready and then it's you're like rushing me i'm like I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah, that's an, that does kind of like so. get me all going. But I have to give it to Natalie. She is really good at keeping her mouth shut with her husband. Because one service, <laughs> they come in late, okay? I don't even know if you even remember this. The reason why I remember it is like your mother-in-law was talking about it. She's like, I was getting nervous because y'all are usually on time for church. Mm -hmm. And y'all wasn't there. And so she was like calling and texting your mm -hmm. husband. And he's like, we're on our way. Like he... His, her husband forgot what time church started one random Sunday. One random Randomly Sunday. Randomly forgot. I don't know if he kind of like thought. On Sunday nights, we start at 630. I don't maybe Was he thinking it was started at 7, which is like our week services? I think so. I yeah. don't know what he's thinking. Something. Something happened in his brain, and it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his mom was like, stre where everybody, like I wasn't even noticing, but like your, you yeah. your mother-in-law was noticing. She's getting really concerned because they're never late. You know, they're always yeah. in church on time and stuff. Natalie didn't say anything to her husband. She was like, well, I kind of thought he was wrong, but she just let it go. I, I just let it go. I was and like, I was like, there would be okay. no way in this world. I'd be all like, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's the time. I'd be like, no, you're wrong. We all. Well, <laughs> the funny thing out of that story is that I was second guessing myself. After he said <laughs> After he said that, I was like, okay, well, he's been going there longer than I have. So I'm like, okay, maybe he knows. Well, then we show up and like church has already started and whatnot. And then his brother-in-law had came up to us and was like, so, you know, he was like, what happened, guys? You know, yeah. like, y'all really late. And, and I was like, oh, man, if he noticed, everybody noticed, you know. Uh, but then I was like, listen, this was not my fault. I said, I'm not <laughs> taking the blame for this. I said, this is my husband's. I said, he thought it started this, this, and this. He was like, you've been going here for so many years. Yeah, I, but I was just like impressed yeah. that she didn't even yeah. say nothing. She was just, I like, was just like, I mean, All right. that's what time you think church is, honey. That's yeah. what time church is. And she just went along with it. And I'm like, my goodness. I need to get into that, like, very obedient. 
<laughs> behavior there because I was yeah, I like, mean, "What? Are you crazy?" I was just like, "You know what?" Because I, you know, we sat there for a minute, and I'm like, "I'm ready. You ready?" He was like, "Well, church don't start to this." I was like, "Are you sure?" He was like, "I'm pretty sure." And I was like, "Okay." You know, yeah, I really see? thought it just start. I was like, "Okay, all right, whatever." I was like, "Let's just get in, start getting ready, and you know, go." So we got ready and go, and I was like, Travis, I really like in the car. I was just like. I really think church has started a little bit ago. I was like, but I'm, you know, I think you should just kind of keep up, keep going, like get there faster or yeah. something, you know? He's like, no, I think I'm, I'm right. I was like, all right, left it, walked in church. That just tickles me so much that she just like, just like I would have been like pulling it up on Google something <laughs> like you are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, that last su- that sun uh, that Sunday we actually stayed in the back. <laughs> we were like, we are not <laughs> walking up front. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, was funny. Was super funny. All right. So another thing for me is that kind of stresses me out a little bit is more of uh, new environment and then meeting new people. I feel like. For me, it stresses me out as far as like meeting new people is I'm stressing out if I'm going to say the right things or mm-hmm. say the wrong things or say the dumb things that just right. come out, you know, and I feel like that's for me, that's me. I, I don't know about anybody I feel else. Like sometimes I might feel like anxious might be like a little nervous anticipation, but I don't ever really just stress. I kind of stress a little bit about, about it, but it. not, it don't not like, like, I mean, I do feel nervous and stuff, but like, I feel like stress is more what comes what out of, you, of me when I'm like meeting new people. So you really maybe like it, you being shy kind of makes you more probably, stressed about it. Then. Yeah. I think I, I'll, I mean, I'll, Don't worry about it as much whenever I'm, like, in the midst of talking to you. But, like, me approaching you kind of, like, stresses me. I just not want to do it. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. But but, uh, for the most part. Like, when we have, like, a church. Like, every six months we have a church event. Mm -hmm. Does that stress you out? Like, we have youth conference coming up. And then we're going to have anniversary. It does. To this day. I feel like it does. I feel like it. sometimes it's kind of, like, I don't know. You have to... (laughs) socialize with a bunch of people that you know you're only used to talking to like two or three friends but then yeah. you have to like have nice this big old thing and then you have to be like oh you gotta go talk to everybody <laughs> it doesn't like stress sometimes like i get thing about my kids not like behaving because oh, yeah and you have yeah. to get up 150 times like after mm-hmm. i have to get up two or three times and then i start feeling like real yeah like embarrassed i guess yeah like i'm not, not I, stressed, I understand but, like i one. guess like sometimes once you get up so many I, that's just regular services too though yeah, your yeah kids get you up like five times and you start getting like real stressed out like yeah hey, pastor i'm not meaning to get up <laughs> interrupt your sermon <laughs> but if this kid keeps screaming it's yeah. also gonna be interrupting it that but, is funny yeah i think that, like, definitely kids will bring that out on you yeah they're for sure so that's some of the things that we stress about some of the well we don't have a solution for the we yeah. Solution for what you can do for people. And you say you stress out events. <laughs> well, I, honestly, I don't think you. I I know people have they they are sometimes stressed. Even like public speaking. I don't know if you ever had to do that. I've never had to do that, except for um, just a couple of times in school. I hated it and I hated doing that. But that's because I was shy and backwards i didn't want to well i wasn't really that. i didn't really like public speaking because it just kind of like a lot of pressure you felt like and then you're getting graded on somebody you talk you mm-hmm. talk and it's kind of like mm-hmm. through everything yeah i don't know um uh, but i've never been like actually in front of big old groups of people and yeah. i don't ever want to but um i don't really like i don't I guess it stressed me i haven't public spoken in a long time so i guess not but like for some reason when i stand up to testify at church suddenly everything gets all like tongue-tied and i'm girl like, oh. i feel like that <laughs> Uh, I I'm don't feel sure I'm disappointed until I start the Lord. in my mouth, and then it's just like nothing coming yeah. out right. I feel like I've disappointed the Lord this last couple of times. I need to get up and like, <laughs> testify. I know. I you like know. it sometimes when the pastor will randomly call you out. Yeah, I kind of like those I because you're like not prepared for it, and it kind of forces like, you to do it. And you're just something. like, you know what? I practiced this testimony for two months now. <laughs> I just ain't stood up and said it yet, but but one thing that gets me is like, okay, if I if, if I don't testify, if I don't share like a, a test a testimony, that that might that could have been or should have probably helped someone, you know? Yeah, but 
I just don't do it because I get so like just that standing oh, and waiting is yes. very uh, like intimidating as yes. well. Especially yeah. when you stand up behind a somebody that's like mm -hmm. a long testifier, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh no, you're forgetting about the time her. you get. Think a, a solution to the stress about testifying. I think the more you do it, the less stress you get. <laughs> <laughs> so. If you get stressed about testifying, guys, that's Ashley's advice. <laughs> I don't know if Ashley's going to take it. <laughs> that would um, be my advice. Yeah. But the main thing that we try to do when we, like, really feel stressed, which is majorly with the finances, mm -hmm. like, I feel like there's nothing I can really. There's some there's, stuff you can do, but yeah, it's just. but there's yeah, not there's a whole not lot, lot of. You can I just got to go out and pray. Yeah. That's, like, the yeah. main thing. And, like, I do pray sometimes, like, Lord, help me be the best mother housewife i could mm, be to get yeah. all my stuff done that i could definitely be present definitely. And not be grouchy and all these things yeah that, I come that was actually that my way. prayer this morning because i know how it was yesterday so it was kind of like all right lord you're gonna have to help me out today don't let my like stress out be like come outward toward my children like out in my words or whatever and that's that's one of the ones that i was just like lord just give me peace and like honest and two you all there's also lots of like Bible verses in the Bible that talks about peace and joy that you can read about and I feel like that's one way that you can like meditate on those verses throughout the day if you know if you need at just one verse just meditate on that and um, that's a good idea like, and I, start your day with a yeah, good verse spread. That's, you know, and like because I feel like it's and I, and I even this morning I'm like Lord just give me like that peace and that joy that comes with just being a mom instead of being stressed about stuff and um and i i feel like i've i felt that just feel like that's something that you could do like just meditate on there because there are several ones in psalms that you know talk about peace and joy that god gives and um i think that's one good way to really de-stress de in a way so i do like going i one time this lady was telling me, or not telling me personally, she was just talking about, she was going through like a really, really hard time. Mm. And she went to her pastor, was like, you know, you know, what can I do to kind of like mm -hmm. help me through this? And he just told her, he's like, because she said she, ever since her children were born, she would read through the Bible in a year's time. Like mm -hmm. that was her every year. Mm -hmm. That's what she did. And he said, this year, just read Psalms over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. So when she got done, so I was like, so sometimes when I'm feeling like real stressed, mm -hmm. I just will read Psalms. Psalms. Sometimes kind of like, I, I don't know what it is about Psalm, the book of Psalms, but there's like so many verses on there that you can kind of relate to. I don't know if that's the right word, but like it just shoots out at you and you're like, Yes, I need that verse <laughs> yeah. know, for that day or whatever. So, um, yeah. Psalms is a some of them are good some bit. like books of Bible I mean, I don't want to say it like bad, but like are just like easier to read. Mm -hmm. Like you can just yeah. keep reading like Psalms and Proverbs, those are just like books that Ones you can that just you like can keep read, read over yes. and over and over and yeah, you and go tired. There's some the books book, that, the whole Bible is that way, yeah. but like some of those are just like you just gravitate towards like, more. Like, um, what's that one book that I have a hard, I usually have a hard time. Leviticus? I think it is. Is it, <laughs> that the one where, like, it talks about how. The lineages? Yeah, lineage. the lineages. I don't and, know, like, but I think it's one of those. Yeah, one of them bo bobbles. I'm just like, oh, something so begot, something. And then I'm like, oh, Lord, you're going to have to help me here. <laughs> <laughs> and but, my pastor even says, like, it's in there for a reason, so read yeah. it. Just, but sometimes you do get a little stuck on Yeah, it, but so. But anyway, yeah, that's our advice on things to do to yeah. help you and like, stress. But you that, know, that, that's our main thing. Mm -hmm. to go to and, God. We're, and we're two, two moms that, you know, we're easily, and if you're a mom too, you know that you get easily overwhelmed by things um, with just everyday things. But that's when I feel like we need, we need God and to trust God for, for that. Um, to help us to keep going because <laughs> you know if we can't keep up who's going to keep it up you know <laughs> yeah you're the, you're the one moving the boat yeah. along so yeah drop so, the oar but yeah so that's our advice and uh if stress brings you just yeah i don't know what i'm yeah, trying that, to say there but oh, anyway so. no yeah ahead. but that's that would be our main advice we have some exciting news coming up as well we do mm -hmm. have our first guest appearance on season two yep coming up next week Natalie is get the uh, the privilege to interview our next yes person coming on. And I we'll feel like this, is, this will be a good te like it will be her good. It will be a good testimony for yeah, everyone, everyone to hear. Excited to hear like, about it because I, I, I think everyone deals with this. Yeah, so I'm ex I'm really excited. I'm really and excited. we like we contact this person. We asked them like, hey, can you mm -hmm. come on? And then we were like, this is kind of something that like 
caught our attention on why we're asking you to come on. Mm -hmm. But we also give everybody the liberty to kind of say whatever they Mm -hmm. want. So we're like, I'm so excited. Because we don't really know what this person's going to share. We know part of it, but like, I'm I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm so jealous. I told my husband (laughs) like that last night. I'm like, I have to have mics. Like, I am jealous because I want to be part of this. Yeah, yeah. Like, (laughs) so, you know, I feel like when we interview someone, I really want it to be me and you both. Sometimes it's, yeah, because um, I feel like you and I, and get to talk and, and think about similar thoughts but then like we get distracted but you keep going so like I'm like oh yeah that's that's one of the uh, thoughts I, I had gotcha. you know like whatever and like we also talk to this person but we also both ha- bring out different questions okay. for yeah. that person too so like I think it would be a great if maybe in the future we could do it with both and do you know more mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so but anyway um, I hope you guys will stay tuned for next week's and please you guys go and follow on our Spotify, on our Apple, or we're on there now. And uh, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe on there, share it with your friends, share it with anyone who would really enjoy just listening to two mamas uh, yeah. you know about life and uh, different topics. Yeah. And if you have any topics that you would like to talk about. Mm-hmm. You can leave a comment or message us. And if mm-hmm. you want to be interviewed, if you have something you want to share, if yeah. you're just saying, hey, I'd like to just jump in there and just chat. Yeah, like, or or if chatter. you just have like a testimony that yes, that's something God did for you or you yeah. know, whatever, please just come up to us or message us and tell us. And even if you don't mm-hmm. want to be like, if you have a great testimony, you're like, I'm not the type to want to get on there and talk. But this is my testimony and I'd love to share it. Mm-hmm. One of us would read that testimony with no problem. Like, we'd yeah. love to share your mm-hmm. testimony on that yes. aspect yep. as well. Yeah, that would be great to sit down to read a couple of people's testimony. That would be awesome, you know? We were thinking before, like, even uh, talked before, like, mm-hmm. even if it's, like, a short testimony, mm-hmm. we that, and you're like, I don't want to come all the way on for that mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. We'd, we'd like to share your testimonies. And yeah, we'll read. We're, if you like to be anonymous, just send a, oh, yeah, that's you know, good like, if an you're anonymous. too far away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing, too, if you um, want to have a... Uh, you can send like audios of yourself mm-hmm. talking on. I know you can do it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I think you can do, even do it on text message, but Instagram is like an easy way mm-hmm. to get into contact mm-hmm. with us. But you can record a message of you talking and send it to us, mm-hmm. and I can record off that and mm-hmm. post it as well. So that'd yeah. be that'd be interesting. Yeah, we might well. be we might be able to do like one of those uh, episodes on our podcast where we share uh, people's testimony, whether they want to be anonymous or not. Maybe mm-hmm. we'll we'll do that. So yeah, that's, a, that's a fun thing. But um, yeah, we're excited about this new one coming mm-hmm. up next week. Stay tuned for that. And that's all the time we have mm-hmm. for this week. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.